<laughs> and we back. It's your man, Little Peso. I'm not a sneakerhead. Got a quick, quick, quick review to do today. Just got the 12s in the playoff edition. <laughs> <laughs> and I hit twice. Got the adult pair, got the toddler pair. Listen, I know y'all be wondering how I be copping all these releases. I don't have no bots, no weird secrets. I just be hitting. <laughs> I'm actually about to make a video about how to hit on sneakers. I hit more than anybody I know and no weird stuff is going on. So if you want to see that, drop a comment, let me know. But that is coming very soon. Anyway, so this video, look, we got both pairs here. I'm always intrigued you might be too about the differences between the toddler pairs the gs pairs and the adult pairs you know it's funky because they can't do certain things because the sneakers are so small so that's what we're going to do today so let's get right into it got the toddler pair these are 10 c's by the way these are my size these are 12s well first thing <laughs> <laughs> the toddler pair came with a sticker. That's not fair. Adults love stickers too. So look, first of all, you can see it. There's a couple of differences that stand out right away. You got on the toddler pair, no hardware. Not like this is super impressive gold or silver or anything, but that's a nice little detail that adds to the flavor of the sneaker. Secondly, you lose the jump man, jump man. Yeah, that's me. So you can see it right here. That's a beautiful little nuance right there. And <laughs> <laughs> the thing I talk about every video when I do the review on 12s is like this piece right here. Like if Jordan puts this on the back of the sneaker, you know they gotta use the quality materials, right? You got to. You can't put the Fugazi on here if you had quality inspired by the greatest, right? So you lose that on a toddler pair because there's not enough room on the piece back here. So you can't do it. And I'm looking right here, you see another key nuance, which is a small detail but I think it's important for the sneaker you lose the two three right you see that it's kind of hidden behind the laces a little bit but there's not enough room to do it here now I feel like you could figure out some way but one of the nuances and I don't know if you can tell this right this tongue is tumbled leather this tongue is mesh so that's the first thing, right? So they, they didn't put tumbled leather on the full tongue. So I don't know, you could probably still do it with the stitching and you should have enough room to do the two, three, but maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the tolerance is too small so you wouldn't be able to, to get in, in there. Who knows? Anyway, oh, so I, <laughs> I hadn't even noticed this. This is something I just figured out here. So you see on the small pair, but you don't see it on a big pair, non-marking, right? So I guess this is so, if you're <laughs> worried about leaving marks on a gym floor, these aren't gonna do that. Probably see it right here. The jump man, which I think is a dope detail on a sneaker, is in a different space. Bye. It's down here, because I guess there's just not enough room. Yeah, that makes sense, so I can't even front. They couldn't have done that on this sneaker. And I think, you know, looking at the sneaker, those are kind of the main differences. I love this translation to toddler, because sometimes you see it, and the toddler sneakers look nothing like the big sneakers. I think some of the foam posits I've seen before are Fugazi like that, but they did a great job of translating the big boy sneaker into the little boy sneaker. And so so look, if your kids into Jordans, $70, this is a, a fairly insignificant buy-in if you got a couple of dollars extra to cop some really high impact Jordans. I love these. These are gonna stay in my collection. My son, these aren't my son's size, so <laughs> I'm gonna probably just sell these or give them away as a gift, but the big boys, I'm keeping these. It's your man, Little Peso. Let me know what you think. Are these fire? Are they trash? Did you cop? Or are you gonna have to go get the pair off of StockX or go. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Not A Sneakerhead. You can subscribe here or you can watch a video that I've selected just for you. Make sure you keep your sneakers clean and have a great day.